In this video, we are checking out the hot new game from Gameloft called Lego Legacy Heroes Unbox. Yes, lots of Lego nostalgia in this one, guys. And if you're ready to see what this game is all about, you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. Alley flying. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley Flying here. I am back. Welcome to the channel. I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are looking at the hot new game from Gameloft called Legos Legacy Heroes Unbox. And before we begin, guys, I want to give a big shout out to the folks over at Gameloft for sponsoring this video. So awesome, guys. Thank you. Much love. And guys, if you want to check this game out, if it looks enticing to you, there is a link that you could download this game for free on your mobile device, guys. But without further ado, let's go in game and check out Legos Legacy. All right, guys, this is what it looks like in game. All the different places you can go to progress your characters, get the resources you need to build up your roster. We're going to talk about all of these different regions and some tips I have learned over the past few days playing this game to help you progress a lot quicker than I did. Now, some of these regions like the arena, like the guild, you have to meet, get your account to a minimum account level in order to access this. But once you get there, uh, yes, very good stuff. So let's talk about the heroes first. Uh, this because any hero collector game is only as valuable as the heroes that you're going to collect in that game. And one thing I like about the Lego franchise is that they borrow the intellectual property from many different sources. Uh, you've seen their movies. They have a bunch of different franchises in their movies and games as well. So that's one thing I'm really looking forward to with this game. Now, right now, quite honestly, there's not a lot of different other franchises, but there is an announcement that just came out that we're going to talk about in just a little bit. It gives me hope that they're going to add a bunch of other different franchises. But these are the characters that I have right now some of them are really good some are not as good some have a lot of nostalgia i remember playing with this guy spaceman reed back in the day when i was a little kid playing with legos so some of these characters you may recognize from other things but yes these are the characters that are in the game right now and some of these characters um like magisto like captain redbeard some of the best characters in the game that you are able to get shards on very, very early on. Magisto here is actually the achievement character. So uh, just through playing the game, just to do your normal achievements, you will unlock this character and build this character up. And like I said, one of the best characters in the game. Let's go to that announcement, though, because this excited me in the inbox. Let's go to our red mail real quick. We scroll all the way down. We see that coming soon is the ghostbusters the first outside franchise to be added to this game so very very excited about this uh yes looking looking uh, looking looking to be very good and this the the game says that they're supposed to be a good counter against ninjago and a good counter against those spooky characters so very excited to see what happens when the ghostbusters come to the game but let's talk about these other regions right here first i want to talk about is these challenges and you may recognize sections like this from other hero collector games where you could get coins you could get scrolls ability materials gears and just to start to level up and build up all of your champions uh managing your resources very important in games like this and these are the resources you need to manage now you get two of these every single day and one day a week you get access to all of these now every single day you will access to this free training and this is a place that you could go in and test out some of your teams see how the synergy is see how good they are so this is a good place you could go but yes you're going to want to do these challenges every single day and because you, you you don't use up resources by attempting these challenges you only use up your attempts uh, when you complete them i recommend going in as high as possible to whatever challenge you can beat as much as possible and just trying that maybe you can beat it maybe you can't but because your attempts are used up when you're finishing it no penalty if you don't uh finish it so that's my recommendations for the challenges. Now the shops, a lot of different things that you have access to in the shops. Obviously you have these bundles that you could purchase for real world money. Some of these are very good deals if you are a spender in the game. I wanna talk about some of these other uh, offers here. There's bags and supplies. Uh, you get a goodie bag every single day and you get a daily goodie bag every single day or you get this multiple times per day you get this once per day and you get different things in here some resources some character shards some pretty good uh characters here you could buy this with a premium currency this thing right here these gems this is your premium currency in the game and this frost gear right here this is us these snowflakes actually they are some limited time events we also got these other bags right here and if we go down right here 
you got this crate full of scrolls. Now, once you save up enough gems, this is something that I may recommend for players. I haven't been playing long enough to fully recommend this, but a lot of people are saying this is a very good deal and you won't really need scrolls to upgrade your characters. Uh, to upgrade your characters, you're gonna need these scrolls and gold. This will take care of the scrolls for a long time from what I'm hearing. So this is a pretty good deal. And then this crate full of coins gives you $1.6 million, uh, 1 1.6 million gold, in-game gold that you could purchase for the same amount of currency. So some pretty good deals. This is uh, some gems that you could purchase for some real world money as well. The event store, those snowflakes, you can purchase uh, some pretty good stuff in here. Characters like the Yeti, Zane, Dr. Kelvin. And then this general store, this is where you could purchase things for gold, some purchase certain gear. You could purchase things for gems as well. Now, as with most uh, other games, I wouldn't recommend using your premium currency on these uh, character tiles right here. I would probably uh, use them on other things like energy refreshes or maybe some of those... Uh, uh, scrolls that we talked about, but uh, I probably wouldn't use it on character shards right here unless maybe you would use this and this would take your character up to the next star level. But a bunch of things in here. This mashup store, you're going to get access to this from the campaign. You're going to get some currency every time you do that mashup campaign. So uh, a couple different good characters here. Princess Verda, not that good. Cook Bart is actually a decent character. Businessman is actually a decent character. Zane is so so. So uh, out of these characters, who I'd recommend is Cook Bart and the Businessman. And then the guild section, this is where you're going to get uh, shards from just doing guild activity. Who I would uh, farm right here, probably Princess Storm right here is the best of the bunch. Dr. Kelvin, Minor Clay, Zombie, not as good as Princess Storm. I would recommend farming her right here. And then an arena, obviously, uh, the better you do an arena, the more arena currency you're going to get. And you have a bunch of different options right here. I think the best one is either going to be uh, Lloyd right here or Valiant. Both of them are pretty good. Firefighter is actually a pretty good character as well. So those are my recommendations as far as the shop. And we have the campaigns. This is where you're going to do most of your character farming. And we have three different ones. We have the Glyph Hunt. That is for explorers. In most games, you have heroes, villains, and then you have a combination. This game... They have explorers, builders, and then the combination of this monolith waste right here. So the explorers, you could use any explorers in this campaign. You could use any builders in this campaign, and you could use whoever you want in this monolith waste campaign. And this is the section right here that all of these right here, if we go to this section right here, all of these are going to include this currency, this mashup coin currency that we showed earlier. You could buy some pretty cool stuff in their store right there. Some pretty good characters right there. So... Uh, I recommend farming these, picking a character or a couple characters that you're going to farm on each of these every single day. Just to do your achievements, you need to do a couple stages of Glyph Hunt. You need to do a couple stages of Pip Town United and Monolith Waste. So picking out a few characters in each of these that you can farm is uh, my recommendation for these campaigns. Let's go to sets. Now, this is something different uh, that I haven't really experienced in a lot of other games. So let me show you around here. And as you can see, let me move my camera here. You have these pirate section right here. You have the castle section of these sets right here. You have this town section where you have the police and firefighters. Some of the sets that I used to play with when I was a kid. You also have the space. Space is another section that I uh, set that I used to play with when I was a kid. And then you have this Ninjago, one of the more recent additions to the ninja lineup. And as you can see, I got two sets unlocked right here. This first one is the Raft Raiders. And what this set does is provide certain bonuses to characters when you bring this into battle. And you can choose one of these sets to bring into battle with you every time you go in. Now, what does this set do? It's a Raft for any Rift Raft who are desperate to gang up and deal a little extra damage. So what does this do? And whenever a pirate here de deals damage to a foe, one random hero has a 10% chance to assist and deal 10% damage. So really benefiting that pirate class. Uh, for this skill right here but this passive and it's kind of like a passive for all of these guys uh for all of your characters guys so this passive right here at the start of each battle a hero has a 15 percent chance to gain attack up for one turn and pirate heroes also gain skill up for one turn so this is a pretty good set right here as far as pirates uh, a lot of synergy with them if we go to my other set that i have unlocked the guarded in this is a pretty good set as well don't have all the skills unlocked uh, to unlock all the passive of these characters. But we look at this one right here. When a castle hero taunts, they gain crit up for one turn. And each hero gains a stack of heal over time for one turn. So when it has a hero taunts, they're, they're going to get a little bit better. So each of these sets do different things. Now, what I kind of like about these sets right here. If we go back. Actually, let's go back to this guarded in right here. And we go to trivia. We can see this is a set number 6067. That's 246 pieces and it was released in 90, uh, 1990, 1986. Excuse me. I like uh, I like this trivia here. This is based on actual sets. So 
bring some element of nostalgia if you're around in 1986 playing with legos maybe you've had this set maybe not so this sets is a kind of cool feature that they have in this game right now all right so in addition to the sets we also have these events some of them are permanent events for beginners some of these are limited time events like this cornwall's great escape is a limited time event only 15 more hours for this event but some of these events like the in deep house hunting in crowd these are these are more permanent more for beginners so you can unlock some of these sets that we just talked about uh what else do we have we also have an arena and this is a good place to go and fight let's actually go into an arena battle right now let's test out our team right here and we're gonna go up as high as we can four eight eight three let's see let's see what happens right here we have a team that's a little weaker right here let's take this guy out. he's not one of the best characters in the game let's actually put in this guy right here even though he's a little weaker no helmet let's go test out some gameplay guys we are doing an arena battle live right now so you can kind of test that see some of the gameplay see some of the animations i really like the polish that is in this game guys there's a lot of uh polish a lot of good uh um you can tell there's a lot of work that went into this game all right so we're using our chicken right here guys and he's one of the better characters that you get uh right when the game starts off and is not a character that's gonna really uh, take you through mid and end game what really one of those better beginner characters but he has an aoe attack so very very good our spaceman right here using his big ultimate see if we can take out that chef right there and no now he has a taunt right here we don't want to use that taunt right yet because uh the the ai as with a lot of ais they don't always target the same characters so it allows uh not using that talent allows some of the damage to spread around through some of our other characters right here hopefully we get that heal coming up in just a little bit from that hiker character that we have right here one of the better characters in the game uh one of the better healers in the game and you get this guy right off the bat all right here is the heal so we're going to heal the rest of our units right there hopefully that's enough to help us get through this uh, battle right here we got that taunt that we're trying to get through right now and uh, just not able to get through it should we apply a taunt of our own maybe the rest of our characters uh, are doing pretty good in health uh hiker needs a little more health right there but our our main uh taunter is doing pretty good on his health so he's gonna taunt right there now we're gonna go back and work on this chef right here boom can we take him out we gotta we gotta finish him off all right there we go now we're gonna work on princess argenta she's another good character right there so boom we're gonna go work on her we have a chance to get offense up with this skill right there and it did not proc on that one so we do not get the offense oh there goes our there goes our healer right there can we get through this battle can we finish this off before everyone else dies trying to get through princess argenta right now and there is another hit can we can we kill her can we make this a two on four battle let's see if we can kill with the basic right there yes we did not have to use our ultimate but our spaceman is almost dead we need to take out their chicken right there oh our chicken is taking some damage and uh probably should not use that taunt one more hit and he's probably gonna die there's our spaceman right here going after their chicken trying to get that offense up on our chicken and can we do it with this big cannon we do all right there is the last character and i think we could take this into auto territory right now oh there goes there goes our taunter right there he is gone uh we don't have any healers we don't have any taunters but i think we're in pretty good shape to win this arena battle guys and there it is there is an arena battle that's pretty much what the game looks like guys uh some of the characters like i said better than the others but that is what an arena battle looks like that is what i'm using right now uh definitely want to switch these characters up as you have access to some some of these uh later characters and then the last part that i want to talk about last but not least is this guild section and this is where you have access to that guild shop you get a uh, certain uh currency just from doing guild activities and then you have access to share certain things with characters as well and that's one of the big uh, tips that i want to talk about for this campaign once you get to the guild once we go into these regions right here let's say i want to farm this person right here this gym this fitness instructor i go in here and i can have someone from my guild i've, I've used them all today you get three per day but you get someone from your guild to help you out so if you have someone that's been playing for a while uh, you can pass some of these and three star these a lot easier than if you were not in a guild so that is it guys uh the quests are obvious you have your daily quest right here i've done most of them for the day you get your guild quest these are the guild quests that i was talking about to get some of that guild currency to shop in that store achievements this is where you're gonna unlock magista one of the best characters in the game just from julie your daily achievements and the login the login character this month is princess verda so that is lego's legacy heroes unbox guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and if this game looks interesting to you use the link in the description to download the game the channel doesn't get credit per se but it does let the devs know that you're watching this video 
and that they should work with me in future videos. So check out that link, guys. And hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash on the like button, join the notification bell, guys. That's at least four videos per week on this channel. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure you guys check me out on social media. And like I said, check out that link if you want to download Legos Legacy, guys. Hulk fist bump before you go. Valley flying out.